The US Navy has declared early operational capability, EOC, for long-range anti-ship missiles carried by the F-A-18EF Super Hornet. The new missile, the Navy's first new anti-ship missile in decades, is designed to infiltrate enemy defenses, skirting around them to attack key targets and enemy fleets. The pairing of Super Hornet and Alresm will give carrier battle groups a powerful anti-ship capability, allowing them to sink enemy fleets from distances of hundreds of miles. According to U.S. Naval Institute News, the Navy has now certified the anti-ship missile for limited missions with the Super Hornet fighter. The Super Hornet can carry at least one, and likely two of the big long-range anti-ship missiles, Alrezms. Theoretically, this means that a carrier air wing composed of 44 F-A-18E and F-A-18F strike fighters could launch up to 88 missiles at an enemy task force. Though it's rare for all of the strike fighters on a carrier to be ready for action at once. Alrazim is fixing a key deficiency in the Navy, namely, a lack of a capability to sink ships. After the end of the Cold War, our Navy was left the undisputed champion of naval forces worldwide, with most of the runner-ups American allies. After 9-11, the service changed course to support wars on the ground in places like Afghanistan and Iraq, and the anti-ship mission atrophied. The rise of the Chinese Navy and increased tension between NATO and Russia has brought anti-ship capability back to the forefront of the Navy mission. Alrazim is a derivative of the U.S. Air Force's Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, or JASM. Alrazim is designed to take the platform, a low-observable cruise missile powered by a turbojet engine, and turn it into a ship killer armed with a 1,000-pound high-explosive warhead. Alrazim can be sent to attack enemy task forces, skirting around air defense radars it detects and plotting the least defended way forward. Once it locates the enemy fleet, it can pick out a specific target and attack a specific part of the target, say, the location of the ship's combat information center, or the ship's gun or missile magazine. Many anti-ship missiles, such as the Indian-Russian Brahmos, are fast and use sheer speed to overcome enemy defenses. While the speed approach is useful, especially for a Mach 2.5 missile like Brahmos, it also means the big missile has a relatively short range. Alrazim takes a different tack. Alrazim's turbojet engine gives it a greater range than a rocket engine, though at the cost of speed. This allows the new missile to stay hidden as long as possible before going in for the kill. The Navy's deployment of Alrazim on fighter jets means adversaries will have to worry about missile threats not only from surface ships, but carrier-based jets. Many of America's guided missile destroyers, for example, are not even equipped with anti-ship missiles. In the future, an adversary will have to consider even the smallest ships and aircraft a serious threat, hopefully deterring them from starting a war to begin with. Alrazim is a long-range, precision-guided anti-ship missile leveraging off of the successful JASM Air Heritage and is designed to meet the needs of us Navy and Air Force warfighters. Armed with a penetrator and blast fragmentation warhead, Alrazim employs precision routing and guidance, day or night in all weather conditions. The missile employs a multimodal sensor suite, weapon data link, an enhanced digital anti-Zhang global positioning system to detect and destroy specific targets within a group of numerous ships at sea. Lockheed Martin is currently executing on the accelerated acquisition contract for the Resum deployment office. This contract is further maturing the technologies that will be delivered as an early operational capability in the Resum for the U.S. Air Force B-1B and USNF-A-18EF in 2018 and 2019 respectively. This operational capability will provide our warfighter with the solution to their anti-surface warfare capability gap. We have begun the integration efforts onto the F-A-18EF Super Hornet. Fit and mass properties checks were conducted at Pax River Naval Base with the U.S. Navy and captive carry flight tests took place in 4Q15. 
We are also investing company funds to reduce risk of a surface launch variant that will be used by the VLS currently in the fleet. Alrazm technology will reduce dependence on ISR platforms, network links, and GPS navigation in aggressive electronic warfare environments. This advanced guidance operation means the weapon can use gross target queuing data to find and destroy its predefined target and denied environments. Precision lethality against surface and land targets ensures the system will become an important addition to the U.S. Navy warfighter's arsenal. Alrazm provides range, survivability, and lethality that no other current system provides. Alrazm successfully completed B-1B integration in flight testing, leading the way to an early operational capability EOC, declaration by the U.S. Air Force in December 2018. The program now marches on with F-A-18EF flight testing leading to an EOC milestone in 2019. Alrazm Boost Test Vehicle Flight from MK-41 Vertical Launch System the successful Alrazm Boosted Test Vehicle BTV, flight on September 4, 13 at WSMR Desert Ship Range, demonstrated Alrazm launch from a MK-41 VLS canister using the proven MK-114 booster. Lockheed Martin is investing in the surface launch Alrazm effort to reduce program risk and accelerate time to fielding an OSA capability on us Navy surface combatants. Alrazm can be employed from DDGS and CGS with only software modifications to existing launch control systems. Alrazm is the low-risk and low-cost solution for our naval warfighter.